Cancer is a greedy thief, taking lives too soon and robbing its victims and the people who love them of precious time together. A Metro Atlanta man was inspired by his wife's suffering and death to start a foundation for late stage cancer patients to give them, and especially their children, a chance to make lasting memories. And it's working. Come on in. The Anna Carico family of New Jersey spent a long weekend in Atlanta recently thanks to the Jack and Jill Late Stage Cancer Foundation. My name is Andrew. I'm your lead dive master today. Culminating with a special dive in the big tank at the Georgia Aquarium. <laughs> Bob Anacarico was given two years to live three years ago. His colon cancer diagnosis, the beginning of an odyssey of sadness and stress for the whole family. Wife Karen, daughter Kelly, and sons Eric and Anthony. To have the, the, the uh, whale shark inches away was unbelievable. Wow. Their family ordeal forgotten for a moment in this underwater sanctuary. Ah. I'm an experience through the Jack and Jill Foundation that uh, we wouldn't have had any other way. I couldn't afford myself to put our family on a vacation like this uh, that was provided for us because of my illness and cancer. Uh, and, and it was just a great thing for us to be able to do together as a family, hopefully not a last time, okay, but possibly for a last time. It, it's what we do and why I do it and why Jill started it with me. We first met John and Jill Albert and their children, Jake and Jamie, three years ago when their late stage cancer foundation was still in the idea stage. Well, I think it's going to be very helpful to um, other kids in the country or world. And Jill was still hoping for more time. I hope it's longer rather than shorter. I would love to, if I could get my kids to high school, it would be great. It was not to be. Jill died of metastatic breast cancer several months later. I got a, um, another letter this morning. Since her death, the Jack and Jill Foundation has treated more than 200 families to wow experiences, a time out from cancer, and a chance to make lasting memories. I think she would be really happy to see what, what's happened with all, the, all these more families that have been helped. I feel her presence every day and mm, I think she's watching us. She's certainly the, the, um, the shining light, if you will. I mean, her name's on it, her face is on it, and uh, it's certainly a legacy that we're very proud of. Absolutely nice to meet you, Brian. Brian, thank Can you. For you? The yeah, Anna Caracos, big baseball it? fans, got to watch batting practice from the grass at Turner Field. They manned the controls in a Delta simulator and rode the rides at Six Flags. Even in my passing, the kids will never forget what we went through uh, this weekend. And it was something that with the pictures and everything else, they'll be able to look back and say, this was a real good time, even during bad times, it was, a, it was a real good time. Bob has had four surgeries for his colon cancer and is on his fifth round of chemo. All the anxiety and the stress, and, and this was a break that was really needed. Being able to do these things that we never thought were possible. So, you know, it's, just, it's all about the memory. Yeah. It's, it's something we definitely wouldn't have been able to do without the foundation. You never get the time to spend together like this much unless we're working together. And then it's, it's stressful. If the Albert children have their way, the foundation in their mother's name is just beginning. Nationwide, worldwide. Mm hmm. Just I agree. More and more people. Now, the foundation has been able to help so many people so far because of generous donations from the public and from corporate sponsors like AirTran and Delta, Starwood, Marriott and Hyatt Hotels, SeaWorld, many others that provide those wow experiences. If you'd like to learn more about the Jack and Jill Late Stage Cancer Foundation and hear testimonials from more families, their website is jajf.org. And you'll also find a link on our website. That's myfoxatlanta.com. Uh, only two years old, the foundation, and it's really off to a strong start. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. What an opportunity for those families. How does the foundation decide which families to grant this opportunity? That's to? a good question. The families don't have a chance to offer themselves, mm -hmm. uh, but the foundation has worked with cancer doctors and cancer centers all around the country, in fact, and the doctors recommend them to the mm -hmm. foundation. Uh, you know, like many nonprofits, uh, they're doing okay, yeah. but, but money is tight. And if they have more money, then they can help more families. 